Hi, this is Ian Troy, and we're backstage at Route 66 Casino, and we're in the cage with Louis the Kamikaze McKenzie. How you doing? It's good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So, tell me, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Oklahoma. I just um, I got a 7-0 record now. I got him the XFL champion, and uh, just came down here to fight Randy Hines and put in some work. And that's what I did. Okay, how did that matchup come about? Um, well, really, you know, some phone calls here and there, and you heard what I was doing, and. They just made it happen. Tell me a little bit about your fight this evening. Well, uh, it, it actually kind of, you know, went pretty fast. Ended in the first round. Uh, came out, struck a little, he hit me, hit him. I bounced back. Got him in a rear naked choke and in. Okay, okay. What is there, you know, your opponent, he was from here, from New Mexico. And, you know, the crowd, they were back and forth with you. They didn't maybe necessarily seem to appreciate you beating up on their boy. And all I'm trying to say is, you know, we're in New Mexico based. You know, what do you have to say to the fans in New Mexico? Um, I love the fans in New Mexico. Um, can't say anything bad. You know, they cheer me on even though I'm not one of their boys. I beat up on one of their boys and they still gave me love. So, I love New Mexico. Can't say anything bad about them. Okay. What, where do we see you next? Where are you going next? Um, I, hope to, I hope you see me on TV on the, in the WEC someday. Uh, I see it coming pretty soon. I hope so. I'm a talented guy. Um, intelligent and I'm going for stars. Okay. That's cool. uh, Talk to me about your school, where you train, you know, who do you roll with? Well, I train like out of my hometown of uh, Boston, Roma, uh, Santa, MMA, and uh, I come from a wrestling background, but wrestling since I was a little, little sporty little kid, and I um, just wanted to put it to work, you know. I've been fighting all my life, you know, small, so I'm a military grad, I've been around, so I've had my fifth fair share of battles. You said that when you were in the cage that you were a military brat. I know I know military families, they move around. Talk to me about some of the places you've been. Um, well, like I always say, Oklahoma's like my mother, New Jersey's like my father. Uh, my pops is from Baltimore, you know, been to Baltimore, Virginia, you know, Cali, just Germany, of course, every, you know, we've been around the States. How has that, how has that affected you in your fight career? It's affected me a lot as a fighter and as a person. You know, I'm very versatile. And, and just um, and meet different people from around and you know just learn to adapt to your surroundings. Definitely, that's very cool. This is Lewis McKenzie and I really appreciate you taking the time well, to have the interview. We're backstage at Route 66 Casino with my guest Jacob Ortiz. Jacob, thanks for taking the time. Thanks a lot. Now Jacob, he just defeated one of our hometown favorites, Antonio Zamora. Talk to me, walk through that fight with me. Uh, yeah, coming in here I didn't really have a game plan. I didn't have too much video on uh, Zamora. So I uh, really didn't know what to expect, uh, researched him a little bit and I found out that uh, he had uh, some uh, good kickboxing, record of 24 wins and 2 losses. So I knew his stand-up was going to be pretty good. I'm a street fighter so I knew my stand-up was alright, not uh, as finesse as uh, Zamora. So uh, I'm just thinking my, uh, my background, which is college wrestling. Wrestled at Pima College for a while there, All-American and uh, Junior College. Uh, high school state champion, so I was like, you know, I'm going to stick to my game plan and I'm going to submit uh, some couple takedowns on this kid. And, uh, he did what? knock you with a few kicks, good in the head, and I did notice. Anytime he busted out that kick, he, he took him right down to the ground, and that was the game plan. Yeah, definitely. I had to eat a couple kicks in order to get the uh, takedown on this kid. Uh, he's six foot, uh, six foot three. Definitely uh, had a good kick up. Um, he threw some kicks. I blocked it with my chin guard right here, and uh, actually gave me some welts on that. He, he has some firepower with those kicks. Yeah, I know he's not going to be tough. Now, you're from Arizona. Where in Arizona are you from? Uh, originally born in a small town called San Manuel, uh, mining town. And so, uh, from the mining town, I moved to Tucson and graduated from uh, ASU in Phoenix. I've uh, been wrestling my whole life. Uh, been doing some cage fighting. Uh, I'm 6 and 0 now. So, okay. where do you, where do we see you in the next couple years? What's your next step? Uh, I'm hoping uh, maybe be a UFC or Strike Force pretty soon here. Okay. Now I know you have some family here in New Mexico that you'd like to send a shout out to. Huh? Yeah, I'd like to shout out to uh, all my uh, family, my familia down in Grants, uh, New Mexico, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Chimayo, New Mexico, Española, New Mexico, and Santa Fe, New Mexico. I want to uh, give a good shout out to them and my uh, Uncle Lupe uh, Garcia Tires down in uh, the Royal Seco in Española. Is there anything else you want to say to Cameron? Uh, what you want to say, uh, thanks a lot for New Mexico for having me. Uh, I'll be back. I want to fight a couple of you fighters here. You guys have a, a great uh, show in here. A lot of support here. Uh, real nice and uh, enjoy being here. Jacob Ortiz, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. In the 
Cave.